In the U.S., it's not unusual for an economically depressed area to ask the government for loans to get the community back on its feet. But it's a little unusual when that economically depressed area turns out to be Miami Beach, once the winter wonderland of millionaires, playboys, and just ordinary tourists. All of a sudden, Miami Beach finds itself in the position of a has-been. Revenues are down more than 40% of what they were in their 60s heyday. As I wandered out on the streets of Miami, <laughs> I said to myself, this is some fancy town. Some say competition is the reason behind the tourist decline. It's now often as cheap to vacation in Hawaii, Mexico, or the Caribbean. Others point out the failure of Miami Beach business people to reinvest their tourist profits. This town is a lonely town, not the only town like this town. Many of the formerly grand hotels are now in such shabby condition, less than 15% of the rooms qualify as first-class accommodations. Until the accommodations are upgraded, many conventions won't gather in Miami Beach. But until more business comes along, hotel keepers won't have the money to upgrade the facilities. What a town, what a town, what a town. As a result of these problems, Miami Beach business people have gone to the U.S. government to guarantee $100 million in loans to spruce up the area. That was so many years ago. Locals are talking about the possibility of legalizing gambling as another incentive to bring back the tourists. It seems Miami Beach is ready to do practically anything to lose its newfound image as a last resort. So now I can never go back to Miami And New York is so cold that a person could die I'd be better off dead like my late partner Sammy cause he's in that big fountain blue in the sky Tom Powell on the news blimp